Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. In the first half of this two-part lesson we're going to be looking at electrical resistance. Electrical resistance is just a measure of how difficult it is for electricity to flow through a component. But because we're dealing with things which are too small to even see with a microscope, it's often a lot easier to picture what's going on if we imagine a model. So, let's start out with our electron. This is our charge carrier, the thing that electricity in an electrical circuit is usually made of. And let's represent that individual electron with a car. So, here's my car. This is going to represent that individual electron as it moves through our circuit. There we go. Now we need something to represent the circuit. We need something to represent the wire which this electron is moving through. So let's add a road. Now, as our electron moves along the road, occasionally it's going to find it a little bit more difficult because it's going to hit a bump, like this one. Every time the electron hits that bump in a road, it's going to use a little bit of the energy which that electron's carrying. It's going to make it a bit more difficult for the electron to move along a road. And that's really all that electrical resistance is. Now, you can get into much more detailed, much more complex uh, explanations of what's going on at higher levels, but to get that C, all you need to be aware of is that occasionally it's going to be a bit more difficult for this electron to move. We can even add some numbers to this. Now, let's say that each one of these bumps, as the car moves along the road and hits the bump, each one of those bumps, we'll call that one unit of difficulty. Now, the units that we actually deal with when we're talking about resistance are ohms. And we have this Greek letter, omega, to represent them. You don't need to uh, worry about remembering what the name of the letter is. All you need to do is remember that they're called ohms. Don't forget that you can download a free fact sheet. Uh, link will be in the description with details of all the units which you need to know in the order which you're most likely to need them. So, we've got each one of these speed bumps as one ohm. If you've got something with a really, really high resistance, like glass or plastic, then you've got lots and lots and lots of bumps in that road. It's really difficult for the electron to move along there. Whereas if you've got something like gold or copper, you've got a road with barely any bumps in it at all, and it's easy for the electron to move through there, and it barely uses any energy as it's doing that. That's all that you need to worry about when you're thinking about electrical resistance. Now, in the next lesson, we're going to extend this. We're going to look at what happens when you've got more cars and when you've got more sections of road and sections of road that are running one after another or sections of road that are running in parallel. But for now, that's all you need to worry about. Good luck in your GCSEs, everyone. And if this video was useful to you, please use the buttons below to like, subscribe, or share it with anyone else you think could also use a little help. Thanks for watching.